everyone and welcome to today's video. Quick review of a pen today. We're looking at uh, the Faber-Castell Loom. Now, this is one of my favourite pen models uh, and, this is a, and this is a new finish that came out only recently. Um, it's the gun metal uh, pen and in the matte finish. Now, it comes in the usual Loom box uh, and I, it's a really nice box, I, I, I think. This one um, does a, a lovely job. Um, cardboard sleeve over the top. And then the actual pen box itself, um, which is operated by a little drawer. Uh, you get the little instruction manual. And, of course, the pen. Now, this pen is beautiful. I really love the look and the colour of this finish. I really like the design of the loom to start with, but I think in this lovely dark brown finish, the gunmetal, uh, I think it looks absolutely awesome. So if we take the pen out, the first thing you notice when you hold this pen uh, in comparison to other looms is the weight of the pen. It's much lighter. Uh, I know that a lot of people have had complaints about the weight of uh, this pen in previous finishes. Uh, both the piano and the matte of the original series. I actually liked the weight and I find this to be a little less substantial in the hand uh, and that's one of the things I really quite liked about the loom personally. So it's catering to you know a market of people that required or desired a lighter pen um, and but in my case I personally preferred the heavier option. Let's talk about the parts of the pen. So in basic terms this is exactly the same as uh, every other loom on the market. Here it is alongside my blue uh, metallic loom. Um, in terms of the specs, it's 130 millimeters when it is capped. When you uncap it, it's 120 millimeters, which is probably just big enough for most people uh, to use. And when it's posted, it is 153. This is one pen that I prefer to use posted where the cap sits sits nicely in the webbing of my of my hand um, it's a nice length and the balance is pretty good the balance is especially good on the previous model where a lot more weight was in the barrel of the pen this pen weighs 24 grams and six grams of that are in the cap whereas the previous model weighed 36 grams uh, both of these are inked weights uh, with six in the cap. So for me, this has a much nicer feel in the hand. The weight sits nicely in the fingers. Um, it's a, a slightly better balance. You really don't feel the weight of that cap at all. Looking at the design, it's got a really interesting clip which sort of feels spring loaded and it's actually right up onto the finial of the pen there, the cap is connected. The, the cap itself is a matte sort of plastic finish with Faber-Castell printed in the plastic. Uh, it's got a slight sort of um, taper towards the end and the barrel itself of the pen is almost completely cylindrical from base to the grip section. The grip section does taper slightly. It's made of a plastic whereas the barrel of the pen is made from aluminium uh, and has these little ridges just to give a bit of, a bit of grip. Uh, which I think is a very smart move because otherwise it's a pretty sh sort of shiny, smooth pen. The nib is steel, but that really shouldn't be a problem for anyone because these nibs are beautifully smooth. Um, I'll get into the nib on this pen a little bit more uh, when I do the writing sample, but the, the Loom nibs are known for being very, very smooth. So what do I like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, firstly, I like the fact, I like the fact that it is a cartridge converter pen. Now, whether it takes international or not will depend on the model of the international converter, uh, but I bought the Faber-Castell uh, converter. It doesn't come with a converter, which is a bit of a problem for some people, uh, but, you know, for an extra $5, it really keeps the pen still within a fairly decent sort of price range. I really like the feel of these pens in my hand. The size is really nice particularly when posted and the grip section is a really nice diameter of about 1.1 millimeters at the sort of the standard holding point. As I said the nibs are smooth, they're affordable pens, 
we're sort of looking um, at somewhere around the 60 American for this model, which is a little bit more expensive than the previous model, but still, I think, very reasonable for what you get. What don't I like? Well, not coming with a converter isn't a great uh, deal. With this model, I don't, I don't like the weight difference. I think that it could have they could have kept the weight closer to the original model just for that sort of stability in the hand um, and also there's a there's a it feels a little cheaper for some reason I'm not really sure what it is um, it doesn't have the same sturdy sort of feel that uh, the the other models have you know there's the clips a little bit wobbly and clicks around and it's not as tight you know in the cap things like that so this is while these aren't necessarily going to be issues for everybody I think when you're paying more for this model than you do for previous models and you're feeling like you're getting something that's not quite as well built, for me that's an issue. But the biggest problem with this particular pen is the nib in comparison to the previous model. So let's do a writing sample. Here's some Rhodia 80 gram paper dot pad. I've got uh, this pen inked with Robert Oster Golden Brown. I think it's a nice match. For the pen itself. Um, those mid browns really matching up nicely with the barrel and the darker shades with the cap. So let's do this little uh, writing sample and see how we go. and inked with Robert Oster. Now this particular pen is the medium nib. And yes, it lays down a very nice line, puts down a good amount of ink, uh, it's quite smooth. But just for comparison's sake, I've also inked the other Faber-Castell loom I have, which is also a medium nib, with the same Robert Oster ink. Now, this nib is what made me fall in love with the loom. This is a smooth, very smooth, nice and wet nib. It lays down heaps of ink, gives heaps of shading, and as I said, as you can see, it is incredibly wet. Whereas this one, you know, it's it doesn't even feel like the same pen. It's wet enough, and if you'd come in and this was the first loom you'd ever tried, you'd probably be, probably be more than happy. But for me, having had this loom and knowing just how buttery smooth and beautifully wet um, that nib is makes this one just feel a little bit well inferior um, I'm gonna try and do some work on this nib but I haven't I've not done anything with it just to sort of show uh, the difference I, I said I haven't done anything with that other nib and I've had the pen for about nine months so I I haven't need, needed to tune it or anything at any point. Uh, so I think there's probably a bit of work to be done on this new loom nib, but I will uh, do it. But just for the sake of the exercise, we'll just do... Um... In terms of uh, flexibility. No, this is a a rigid steel nib. There's a perhaps a tiny amount of line variation that you can get out of the pen, uh, but really it's not designed uh, for that. It's a good, smooth, standard um, medium nib. As I say, just for the same the other model. So that was the Faber Castell loom in the new gun metal finish. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. 
please feel free to drop me a message. You can do that either here on YouTube or at my blog on Instagram or Twitter, which are all linked down below. I'd love to hear what you have to think about the uh, Faber-Castell Loom, if you've got them, if you've tried this one, if you um, have a preference to this or the older model or uh, any other model of the pen. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.